Here we go. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's a part of the house. The guys and I worked many, many years. I, out of the 20 years that I did the class, she gave the rate. I bet that this group performed on Fifth Avenue at least 10 years worth, if not more. And we used to run weekends at a place called Valley View House. Yeah. How many folks remember that? Uh, the Canosa Lake, New York, and Ray played for us. And you know, a lot of these guys have been with him for so many years. Jimmy, Bill, Joe, I'll tell him why, right? Like you told me. Ray, there's got to be a formula for having guys stay with you that long. And they told me. They gave me a call at home. said, he owns the microphones and the speakers. <laughs> we're happy, we're all happy here to kick you out of town this year. <laughs> and uh, wish you and all the guys the best of luck. Will the Gableman continue, gentlemen? You're going to continue. He's going to Daytona, Florida, except this big band leader asked him to sit, uh, sit in with him every once in a while. I told him, he said to me, when he first told me about this a couple of years ago, that uh, when he retires, that's it. No more music. And I said, no way. When it's in your blood. How about a warm welcome? Here's their theme song. Probably the last time you'll hear them play it. Ray Skorka and, and his Abelman. He's not able, but they are. The Abelman Polka. What?
You know what, while the lights are on, let me, let me just take a few minutes. Guys, relax for a couple minutes. I'd like to get all the DJs and IJs from the bar out here while we got a chance. Andy, would you tell Bill, Eddie, and Bruce to come out here? Anybody else that's a uh, police? I want to take just a moment of personal privilege before we get back to some more music. While we're waiting for them to come out, we are very fortunate today to have with us some of our former band members who helped get the Ableman started 51 years ago. Like 51 years, where the hell was 51 years ago? I have no clue. I want to introduce a gentleman who joined the band probably around 1964 or 65. He grew up in Garfield with me, just about six blocks away. And uh, he was with us for about 15 years before he decided to get out of the area and move down to Bayville. He's back to say hello today. Please welcome Mr. Bill Wojciechowski, former guitar player of the band. Do you, do you remember the Heddles from Garfield? The Heddles, Roger Hedl, and Barker Heddle, right there. Oh, wow, yeah. Bill Wojciechowski, ladies and gentlemen. Also with us. A talented gentleman, and we're going to bring this guy up on the bandstand later on. He played with us from probably, um, i got to try to get these dates right. Right, and Richie, if I screw this up, I'm sure you'll let me know. Uh, probably around 1964 or 65, and he played with us right through 1974. Uh, and uh, he was, a, still is, a talented musician. Back in the day, he played clarinet, flute, Alto sax, soprano sax, uh, tenor sax, and also did a great job on keyboards. Those were our crazy days, because Richie could play keyboard probably better than I did back then, because I was basically an accordion player back four years ago. Uh, he did play keyboard, allowed me to play guitar on jobs. Remember those days? Ladies and gentlemen, originally from Clifton, New Jersey, we're now in Pennsylvania, someplace. Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, came down today to celebrate with us. Mr. Richard Rubino. Richard Rubino. I'm going to let you up on the grandstand in a little bit. I also have uh, another gentleman who's seated at the table. We're going to bring him up, too. This is a guy I met through our sax player, Joe. And uh, Joe introduced me to him probably about 30 years ago. I remember we did a circle line cruisers thing with my UME did a duo. And Harvey and Norman were on the other boat. That's the first time I met Harvey. We're going to bring him up too. A friend from Burkettfield, New Jersey, Mr. Harvey Schneider, right here, who we know for about 30 years. And Harvey had a good misfortune to fill in once or twice with the eight women also, so we're glad he's here today. I want to get these guys out here from the bar because for me, this is really special today. Uh, Bill, Eddie, Andy, Bruce, come on out here. Why? What? Are we getting union scale for this? Or yeah, what? you are. The plumber's union. I just... Oh, that's all right. That's good. Right. Come on, here. Come on. Center stage. Come on, center stage. Come on, lay some pipe on. I, I just want to take a moment to introduce these gentlemen in case you don't know them. Polka music today is being kept alive on the internet with uh, a whole bunch of uh, polka music on the Polka Jammer Network and 247 Polka Heaven. You all met Bill Shabilsky? Say hello to Bill Shabilsky one more time and a round of applause. I'm going to get to that. Besides being on the Polka Jammer Network, Bill also has a show uh, out of uh, Fairleigh Dickinson and Teaneck WFDU, which is going to be starting in about an hour and a half. Uh, we're going to miss the first hour of your show today, unfortunately. <laughs> But I, I want to say a special thank you to Bill, first of all, because we started out originally as a wedding band. That was our whole scene when, uh, when I started my first band. And in the 1980s, we started getting involved in polka music, and a friend of ours at the time, a gentleman named Ted Rabicki, recorded us on a job, and he says, I've got this cassette. Do you mind if I send it to Bill Shabilsky? So we'll play it on his radio show. That's how it happened. And I said, who the hell is Bill Shabilsky? <laughs> Little did I know that he was the number one DJ in the country at that time when he was doing his show from Fordham University. So Teddy sent the cassette to Bill, I guess it was like 1983, 84, 
And I get a call from Bill Shabilsky. And he says, A race warrior. This is Bill Shabilsky. I got this cassette. It was recorded live. Uh, is it okay with you if I use it on my radio show? Hey, I'm going to be on the radio. He could have been the devil, I would have said. Play the music. And, uh, and Bill did that, and, and, and then he used us for one of his weekends at the Valley View House, which gave us a great opening there. He's the reason why the Ablemen are in polka music today. And Bill, from all of us in the band, we thank you for that so much. This guy over here, his name is Eddie Yega. I'll tell you that first. If you don't know who Eddie is, yeah, give Eddie a round of applause, please. Eddie runs a couple of great shows on the Polka Jammer Network. He is a very talented musician. He is a terrific singer. And in addition to that, he is just newly elected to the International Polka Association's Hall of Fame. So congratulations, Eddie. Thank you for being here today. As you can tell, there's something I started on the show about a year ago. And it, it caught on like wildfire. He has such a great voice. It's, it's up to 10 bucks already now. Uh, he has such a great voice that I call him, no change, that I call him, in all sincerity, the 21st century Stasia Vorsky. You folks that are a little older remember Stasia Vorsky and how great he was. Eddie compares to him, really does. Tremendous talent, creative guy, and a great voice. Back to you, Mr. Abel. Thank you, sir. Next to Eddie is a friend of mine who I've known now for about, I guess, 10 or 15 years. We really met uh, when we were doing those summer concerts at the Brick, uh, not Brick, uh, Manchester, right, the summer concerts. This is, this is Andy Sikowitz. He's also a, an IJ on the Polka Jammer Network. He has a great show, a great drummer, and also a DJ. He uh, does parties, too. Uh, so, how about a nice round of applause for Andy Sikowitz, who's up here today from Brick. Thank you, see us, and we appreciate you being here. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. And let me move on, certainly, not the, the last, but not the least. This guy, I could tell you, we could tell some stories, but we shouldn't do those yet. This is Bruce Zamorski. Sing a lot of Bruce, everybody. We met Bruce at the Valley View House when we were playing for that summer resort about the last six or seven years before they closed. And uh, we met Bruce and, and at that time his girlfriend Grace and uh, we have been good friends ever since the, the late 1980s. I know she's here, that's why I'm not going to tell those stories about what we were doing in the bar. After that uh, Bruce is a talented drummer, worked with a lot of the big polka bands, the big name polka bands over his career. Bruce is also a DJ and does parties. If you're looking for DJs, we've got two great ones standing right here uh, on either side of me. Uh, and uh, Bruce runs a great polka show, polka program on the 247 Polka Heaven Network, that rival internet network, right? Uh, and we've known Bruce from the Bayway Polish Hall for many, many years. And Bruce, we appreciate you being here today, too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I appreciate it. Enjoy, uh, have a good time today, and maybe. <laughs> have a beer. Yeah, you can leave. Another? Here, checks in the mail. <laughs> <laughs>